Hello everybody friends, I got an interesting project for you today, we're gonna take our tools and I'm gonna show you what's gonna be the guinea pig for today. Here you go, an LCD TV, we're gonna take it apart and see what's inside and if you can fix it or never know. Alright, so let's get a crack on. We're going to get a once in a lifetime opportunity to join the party too. No catch, no money, no skills required. <laughs> We're gonna take our guinea pig for today, which I showed you early, is a Hitaki LCD TV, as you can see here, 220-240 volts, 45 watts. Alright, first things first, let's power this one up and see if this one works or not. Fingers crossed. Alright, it's not doing nothing. It's got a power indicator here and we see something oh shit as you can see here it's cracked man it's cracked so this one could be replaceable could be fixed i doubt it but we're gonna take it apart nonetheless all right so stay tuned for the easy part as you can see we got one screw here one in the other corner as well and another one here and one in the bottom so we're gonna take them apart and take our screwdriver, Philips one. This one should go easy. Alright, then one off. We got another one in this corner here. It even shows you with some arrows pointing. Alright, and two more. And there are two more in this uh, here and there, you know, just in case you miss them. Now we're gonna try to open the thing. We're gonna take our our thingy and try to poke the bastard. Alright, so we're gonna just go along. It's got some clips. Our tiny thing is not gonna do nothing much. We're gonna need a screwdriver. Easy, go all this side, you know, all along. Easy not to poke the bastard very bad. For you electricians out there, there is a, a tool that can help us, you know, do this kind of thing easily to not remain all the marks. If so, just put it below in the comments and we will see. There you go friends, we have managed to open it, just go alongside and this thing is gonna pop out. Alrighty then, so as you can see here, the back cover is connected to, what is here, is a receiver. Alright, let me try to focus this thing. Alright, so the back cover, which is this one, is holding place through this wire in some clips to some board here. I cannot see what it is, but I'm gonna unplug it. Here you go. It's got some clips. Bear with me. There you go, I have removed it. Uh, the back cover was holding by this thingy, which is what? Doesn't say barcode. Da, da, da. We will see. We will see what this one is. Apparently, nothing, but nonetheless, we're gonna hold on to this one. Alrighty, now what we have here this is the main board. Do not touch the thing. This is the, the power supply, as you can see here. It's disconnected. It's already disconnected from the mains, but nonetheless, watch out for those capacitors, you know, it could be dangerous. All right, so we have uh, unplugged the power. We have another cable here. 
which goes to this board and then what is this nothing we got two speakers here that we can use them for a project nonetheless i don't know if you can see them yeah you can see them the speakers are over here the board i'm guessing this is the main isolated here we go this is the main control board for the voltage we're gonna hold on to this thingy and there are in clips with this kind of stuff all right then let's see high voltage caution risk of electrician shock disconnect electric power before servicing all right then sure uh, the secondary board this one the led is not gonna light out so we're gonna connect this one very gently this thing is not power on in the back not meant to press the surface all right so we have connected the thing and now we're gonna plug the vessel in here you go friends we got awesome light awesome perfect light yeah nice one 